In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the newest, uh, I was going to say patch notes, but it's more or less an update note. Actually, it is update notes. Um, so with new update notes for Paladins, patch 1.3, this is the hotfix number one. I will link this website down in the description if you want to check it out and read everything in detail yourself. There's not a whole lot, um, no balances or anything like that. All of this is just bug fixes, and I think that's what these smaller updates are going to be. Um, they're just going to be hotfix notes, so we'll have like patch 1.3, 1 1.4, 1 1.5, 1 and then in between them we'll have a couple hotfixes. So that's looking like it's going to be the schedule for now. So there are some really cool things coming to this though, um, and we'll just go right off with the most important one with the battle pass number one. So what they did is they had to cut it short. Um, you know what, I'm just going to read it. Um, because we wanted to get the 1.3 update out to players as soon as possible, time to complete the first battle pass was cut short. Now. Mine was cut short terribly. I had about 983 of those um, crystals for the Rise of Fury event. I was saving up for Divine Cirrus, didn't get it. I was about half a level away from that Geno skin. I mean, I was like 11 levels away from max level. I didn't really care for the Grok skin though. I just wanted that Geno skin. I was like half a level away, didn't get it. And it was my fault. I was on vacation and when I got back, I was like, I'll play today, I'll, I'll get them put it off, put it off, put it off. The morning I was really going to do it, patch 1.3 drops. So I missed out on all that good stuff. The good thing is though, is they, they gave me all the stuff in the Rise of Furia um, event. So like they spent my crystals for me. So I got like the emotes and the music themes, but I wanted the Divine Saris. I was saving up for that. I didn't want the little stuff, but that was my fault for not playing. But thankfully I'm at least going to get the Geno skin and we'll go over that right here so we'll be adding three million three hundred and eighty one thousand battle pass one xp to the accounts of all players who purchased the first battle pass so anyone who got the first battle pass you're getting bonus xp now obviously if you're level 50 from the first battle pass that's impossible so if you have a max level you're gonna get it um this is equivalent to the amount of xp that is needed to get from 48 to 50. Now, 48 to 50 takes a shit ton of XP, so it's approximately 10 to 12 hours of gameplay. Um, so players will unlock any rewards that would have been earned by that additional XP. Now, I was level, was at 39? My guess is I'll honestly probably go up to 42 or 43, something like that. So I'm going to get the Geno skin. That is all I care about. I'm so excited. I really want that Geno skin. So that is the biggest update coming to this patch, and this is going to release August 2nd at 7 a.m., um, and today is August 1st, so that'll come out tomorrow. Um, or depending on when you see this video, it could already be out. So we'll go over some of the other bug fixes, we'll kind of briefly go through them and you can read them in detail. Um, fix some issues where some players weren't getting sent to the end of the match lobby, I have had that problem. Fixed account and XP, account XP and champion XP showing differently. Fixed players being able to pull up the talent loadout screen during the kill camp, that I experience all the time. Fixed an issue with the emote wheel and gamepad, um, that's for consoles. Fixed daily rewards, sometimes giving wrong day rewards. Fixed TDM bots, grouping up at one point on the map, yeah, that was terrible. Fixed, I don't really play bot TDM though, so I don't really care. Um, fixed missing description for some skins. Fixed emote wheel, uh, showing temporary art for acquisitions. Koga voice pack acquisition image, having no 2D art. Um, this is a little stuff here. Champions, this is some good stuff. Uh, fixed missing sounds from Victor. Fixed academic sky not having arms in first person. Fixed not being able to equip high tech barrack skin um, and it's showing the high elf Leon. Fixed Koga skewer dealing damage through thin walls. And we have some battle pass fixes as well. Fixed the crash at challenges page when viewing tier seven in some languages. Fix an issue, okay, here's one. These are some that people have been asking about a lot. So fix an issue with spray challenge where players couldn't complete it if they sprayed in a match before unlocking the challenge. So that was what the issue was. The one where you have to spray in TDM, Siege, and a competitive match. I think that was like tier two, I believe. So like, no, tier three. So if you got to tier three and you sprayed before that, you couldn't complete the challenge. Now, if you somehow managed to not use a spray at all, until you got there, you could complete the challenge, but looks like they fixed that, so hopefully that's going to make a lot of people happy, because I had so many people complaining about that in the comments. Fix an issue with kill 15 players while below 5% health challenge, where it uh, procced under 5 health instead of 5%. Oh wow, damn, imagine having to get to under 5 health, that would suck. 
and then fixed shogunate frame missing 2dr in the battle pass menu so that is it for this video guys if you enjoyed it be sure to drop a like and hit subscribe for more content like this like i said i'll link this in the description if you want to check it out yourself until then thank you for watching